What's up, y'all? Sean here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful night. It's a weird day in America. I don't want to get into politics, so shut your face. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk about politics at all. Um, I was trying to get the Osmo Pocket set up. I don't want to give you all my password. So we are working it out right now. Um, but yeah, how are y'all doing today? Um, I'm doing good. Um, yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of things going on with the channel. Um, I'm trying to transition. I do this kind of every year around this holiday season. I'm not sure what I want to do with products that I'm reviewing. Um, I've got a backlog of products that I haven't even gotten to yet. Um, like the, uh. Oh, Nacho said I'm quiet and out of sync. Check, check, one, two, three, check, check. Am I still out of sync? Do you have me on in another tab? You probably have me on in like six different places. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but I was trying to get this to work, so I'm going to try a little bit harder and see if I can get this working. Um, so yeah, what are you guys doing? I, I saw Nacho was um, designing some Osmo Pocket stuff. That's a horrible presentation right, right there. So what I've been trying to do for the last hour is get um, get you guys to see uh, what's on the screen. I, I've been trying to cast this. I've been trying to share my iPad. If I could find my... I had a little dongle that was HDMI for my iPad that I used a year ago. I looked everywhere for that little dongle. If I had that, then all of this would work out great. But... Let's see, we're going to put that right there. Holla! Um, but yeah, I at least want to try to move the camera around and stuff. Now I know this was supported uh, before. So we're going to try to... Oh, huh. nice. That was an easy pair. So, if you guys, um, what's up 808, welcome to the channel. Yes, I got it to work. Okay, so, um, this is the Osmo Pocket 2. No, dang it. The DJI Pocket 2. DJI Pocket 2. That's the name of this camera. They changed the way they named it, and it's frustrating to me, because I said DJI Osmo Pocket, like it like rolled off the tongue for a year. And now we've got, they took Osmo out, and now it's just the DJI Pocket 2. But we've got this, um, and what's really, really interesting when you're looking on their website of all the accessories, a lot of the accessories that I bought for the DJI Osmo Pocket, now they continue to work for the DJI Pocket 2. <laughs> yes. Um, so, so we can talk about all the accessories that I already have. Um, but right now we've got it on the uh, one of the accessories that came out for the pocket, um, the DJI Osmo Pocket, was this base right here, um, and this base is the the way that you add Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functionality to your your pocket. We're just gonna call them pockets. Um, so that's what we got going on right now, and. Um, now I can move it with my phone. Let's, let's go around and look at y'all. But I have no way of sharing my phone screen with you guys right now. Well, I, dang it. I'm all over the place. I lost you. <laughs> this used to be easy. Mm, let's do that. All right. 
Um, and there's not a double click. Ah, we did it. All right, so now I'm looking at y'all. I can point down a little bit. I was I tried to get this working out worked out during the countdown, guys, but I I missed up. Well, dang it. We're just gonna point right there. <laughs> So, as you can see on the screen, I'm um, controlling the camera wirelessly. Via the app. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've got a new toy, Steve. You're right. Um, let's go through the chat. I don't want to ignore you guys tonight. Um, so Stephen Drones says, what's up? We're going to do roll call. So Stephen Drones, nachos in the house. Eat more possums in the house. Well, let's move down to that one. <laughs> um, 808's in the house. He says, what's up and aloha. And, uh, is that everybody? I think that's everybody, but we're going to do this again. Um, so, yeah, welcome to the chat, guys. Um, it's not going to be a super crazy in-depth um, review tonight because I've only had it for two days, and I've actually been working my butt off for those last two days, so I haven't had much time to play with it. Um, but, um, I can tell you right off the bat, now that I have it in my hands, that it is exactly the same size. Um, at least this base part is. And the reason I say that is because all the accessories still fit. So this adapter still fits. Um, and it's, it's kind of like what they did with... Back in the day when they did, they had the DJI Osmo and then they had the DJI Osmo Plus. Um, all of your accessories that worked on the DJI Osmo worked with the DJI Osmo Plus because they didn't change anything as far as the hardware goes. They just um, kind of updated the camera a little bit. So the the big the meat of the change is right here. Um, they put a bigger sensor in this one. Um, so it can bring in uh, more low light um, and all that jazz. Uh, but for the most part, um, there's been some software updates. There's been some accessory updates. Um, and I think the where the real value with the DJI Pocket 2... Yes! I need to read it. It's right on my screen. Where, where the DJI Pocket 2 um, is better than the original is in the accessories. Um, and I don't know if the accessories are going to, all the new accessories, I really don't think the new accessories are going to work with the original. Um, so here's the original. Um, I don't think all of the new accessories are going to work because this bottom does not come off. Okay. So there's a new, um, this, you see that line across the bottom of this one? Um, there's, here's a comparison of both of them together um, and as you can see they're they're the same size guys um, this is an accessory so if I pop this off um, the and I put those side by side they're exactly the same height they're the, exactly the same width and exactly the same length um, the difference is is the camera um, and you can see right there look how much bigger the lens is on the new guy you can tell it's new because they put a red ring on it <laughs> um, but look at the difference in the lens so the camera body is about the only thing 
physically that I can no that I've noticed that's really changed that much. Um, these buttons compared to this, this is not as sticky and textury as the original. This is like like a nice sticky rubber, whereas this is more smooth. Not sure why that's a ch why they changed that. Um, but this accessory will work on here, but I don't know why you'd ever want to use this um, because the new accessory that comes with the camera is way better than the one you had to buy for like 30 bucks or whatever this was. Um, I thought this was, dang it, this is hard tonight. I'm, I'm, Y'all are going to just laugh at me all night. But this, um, this rocker wheel I thought was great when it came out. But it's so frustrating because it goes up and down, and then you, like, this little switch right here is annoying. It's up or down, or left and right. Who Who is going to be recording a subject that just goes up, or that goes, goes to us to the left or right? Like, um, I think this right here, this joystick, is such a better plan. Um, so I think that's a huge upgrade on upgrade on the new one. Um, I think the fact that it comes with a tripod mount that snaps onto the bottom of it is great. The reason I don't have the tripod mount right now is because I'm connecting wirelessly through this base that came with the first one. Now on the new one, the Osmo Pocket 2, dang it, the DJI Pocket 2, <laughs> um, the do-it-all handle is what replaced this base. So. Um, I think they realized that it was kind of silly that you needed a base that sits on the ground in order to add functionality and then it didn't have a tripod mount on it. So what the do-it-all handle does is it adds the wireless technology, it adds, um, you know, it's the receiver for the microphone. Um, and there was other functionality, but I forgot what it was. So. So Nacho asked, wait, let me get through these. Um, 808 says, I love it when they have interchangeable parts. I hate having to grab new accessories with each new investment. Um, so yeah, this one, uh, the upgrade from on the two from the original is it has a tripod mount and the joystick is already included um, and it has the adapter for um, the lightning like the iPhone lightning and it also has a USB-C which is on the new iPhones and Android devices um, and I can't remember what came with the original uh, those little those tiny little pieces get lost <laughs> um, so Stephen Jones says I saw when you got it at Best Buy very cool. Um, I got some flack with that video. I thought it would just be kind of fun to bring you guys along. I just had a good Sunday. that I And I thought it was cool that I could pre-order it Saturday night and it be available Sunday. And I just went and picked it up on release day. And I thought it would be cool to bring you guys along. But I got some comments like, you talked for 14 minutes on the old one. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't have the new one yet. But uh, anyway... But I'm glad you liked coming along with me. Some people didn't. Some people thought that was an odd video. Um, they were looking for a review. And I mean, even even the uh, the thumbnail was me like being stupid with a mask on because of this pandemic. But anyway, I had fun with it. Um, 808 says, yeah, the joystick of my Ronin SC is super handy. Yep, I agree with that. Um, all right, so to this comment from Nacho, does the joystick work um, on the old one? That's an interesting thought. Let's try. Don't break it, don't break it. I don't know which way to go. All right. <laughs> so let's put it on the old one. definitely snaps in place so it fits perfectly on the old one because it's the same um,
Yep. It does. Now, I don't know if the buttons are the same. Oh, the buttons do exactly the same thing that they do on the Pocket 2. So that's a good question. That's an excellent question. The joystick on the 2 works on the 1. Um, I really think everything they did was interchangeable. Um, but we're going to try to do this without breaking it or scratching it or... So Nacho's got the, the best question of the night so far. We learned something already in the live stream. Welcome to Sean Ad Studios. This is where we learn stuff. Let's push that button and see what it does. Hopefully it doesn't blow up the world. Um, so that's great. 808's making fun of me. Aloha, my bro. Aloha, my friend. Making fun of me. No, that's cool. No Osmo. Got it. <laughs> uh, Daniela says hi. There's another roll call. Welcome, Daniela. Um, so, Daniela wants us to talk about drones. Joe wants us to talk about Chinese drones and not U.S. voting. So, Daniela's on board with no politic talk. And I am totally on board with that. Um, I am planning on quitting early tonight, maybe around 7.30, because I'm, I'm interested in the election. It's a very important day for America, but, um, so I'm going to be cutting out a little bit early just to see what's going on, but I don't think anything's going to happen um, until a lot later tonight anyway. 808 says the vote is, oh, nope, we're not going to talk about that. So... 808 was surprised that it worked on the old one. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. You saw it here first on Sean Ives Studios. <laughs> Nacho always brings the questions. Nacho is, he's got one of those minds like me where he just, he, we kind of live outside of the box, you know? Um, so I think that's good. Um, and that, that's another reason I don't like to be scripted. I don't like to, um, there might come a day when I become a sp a sponsored YouTuber and people send me things and they give me talking points um, and even points that I shouldn't talk about that might that, that day might come and I will definitely um, take advantage of a free review as opposed to spending $500 just so I can make a video for you guys that won't make $500 for like three years um, but um, but that's what's cool about like just trying things. Um, you know, get, we're gonna get our feet a little wet. We might make a good video. We might make a stupid video. People might make fun of me because I didn't do my research before I made the video. But part of my channel is experimentation in the moment, um, real world scenarios. Not this is what the piece of paper says it's gonna do. I'm gonna actually do it and see if it really does that. And if it really does that, then you guys can trust the company. If it doesn't do that, if they promise products that never come out or, you know, I'm going to be real with you no matter what. I think I'm at the point in my life where I'm 44 and lies just take too much effort. <laughs> I would much rather my life be full of honesty than to try to keep up with all the lies I say. So that's me in a, in a nutshell. Oh, wait, this is me in a nutshell. Not a stupid joke. Um... So, oh, Danielle's got a mask on. That's funny. That's so weird that that's an emoji now. 2020 has become an emoji, official. So, Nacho asked if it still uses the audio adapter. Um, I am not sure. I could not find my audio adapter. I can't remember if I bought one or not. It's one of those things where I bought one for the Osmo Action and I never used it. And then I don't know if I bought one for this. I'm pretty sure I did, though. But, um... Oh! But 
that's another functionality that the Do It All Handle has. It does have a, a microphone input as well. So, but that's kind of a trend. GoPro does it. Um, Inst360 does it. Um, DJI does it. I mean, it's most people don't use a microphone input. So it's more beneficial for them to charge the people that do as opposed to spending all the money giving that functionality to everybody and people not ever using it. So um, I don't like that. <laughs> that um, uh, I don't like the way they do things, but um, the more I'm in software development and understand like the um, minimal viable product solution, um, I understand why they do it now. Uh, because it's a better return on investment if they don't spend all that money putting in a feature that nobody's ever going to use. Um, and there's a handful of people that do. Um, so, <clears throat> so Nacho, we will answer this question later. Uh, once I've found that adapter um, and try that out. But um, since I have so many videos on the DJI Osmo Pocket, um, I am planning on doing the same type of videos with DJI Pocket 2. Even though um, there were things I didn't like about the camera, there were a lot of things that I really, really like about the camera. So I'm planning on doing those same types of tests. I'm going to do some comparison tests now that I have uh, version 1 and version 2. So I'm pretty excited about that. So, Liza asked me if I'm Catholic. No, I am not Catholic. Um, Nacho says, I think it has four mics all around this time. Yes. Um, so there's one here in the back. Um, there's one right next to this green light. I don't know if you can see it. It's a dot. And then there's one on the front side. Yeah, the, the ones on the side are closer to the front. So... If you're facing the screen, I think the audio will be a lot better than if you're on this side, but there is a microphone pointing in every direction. And um, from what I understand, they're going to use those four mics to pick the vet, you know, to cancel out wind noise, to find the best um, microphone for the noise, you know, those types of things. So, um, yeah. Liza Monte, Liza, your name's Liza. Um, said my name. Um, <laughs> Danielle is calling me old. Not very nice. No. Um, I'm very happy that I made it to 44 and I'm still living, still breathing. Um, I think I have a good look at outlook on life and got a happy, healthy family. And um, I'm not the healthiest. I could definitely be healthier. But I am full of joy and happy. And 44, it has been an awkward year because 2020 has been awkward. Awkward? Has been awkward. <laughs> but um, but I, I'm very happy that I made it to 44. So, Nacho, um, did you print that today, Nacho? Um, Nacho sent me a design, um, <clears throat> which is a really cool design. Um, I'm, I'm actually looking um, at, I'm looking for that, that design on Thingiverse because I, I want to download it and print it. But he made an adapter that goes slides in right here um, that uh, attaches it to a RAM ball. Um, and if you don't know what a RAM ball is, it is a very, very solid way to mount things. Um, and Nacho has a bunch of RAM balls all over his motorcycle. And so he'll put his, you know, Inst360 or his GoPro Max, he'll put his GoPro on it, and he'll put all, you know, all of his different cameras while he's riding his motorcycle. Um, and uh, I'm not sure how, how strong a 3D printed RAM ball is going to be compared to um, the actual RAM ball itself, but super cool that he figured that out. All 
All right, so Danielle is leaving us to go back to the election, so that's good. Peace out. Thanks for showing up. Um, Nacho said, do your civic duty. Um, I did my civic duty today. Um, went number two twice. Um, so, no, <laughs> that was a bad joke. That was a bad joke. Um, so Nacho, when he printed, he printed it from work. He's got a camera set up at home so he can see the print and then he can, he can fire it off from work, which is cool. Um, yeah, the Nacho got me into Ram Balls. Um, the, uh, I have a, if you guys can see this, this will be my phone for the next week, and then I'm getting the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Super excited about that. But, um, but I have this adapter, which is, it's metallic, but it also, so it has a magnet um, thing in the middle, but it also twists to lock itself into place, so it's like um, twice as um, strong of a connection. And then I have that connected to uh, the Ram Ball suction cup. It's a suction cup by Ram that is a twist type suction cup. Um, and I love it. I really love it. So yeah, what other questions you guys have about the DJI Pocket 2? So Daniela is completely against Chinese products. Um, so she does not like the DJI. Please don't dislike my videos though, Daniela. <laughs> I know for a while, every time I said, did a GoPro video, you'd put a dislike on it. Um, so if you would not do that, that would be awesome. All right, let's see what Nacho sent me. Ooh, everybody knows it. So, um, Brent, uh, Eat More Possum is here. And I've regretted se selling you my DJI FPV system. <laughs> Because I've watched nothing but videos on digital FPV, and I can't, I'm, I haven't sold my Bumblebee yet, and so I will probably buying be buying the FPV system from someone else. Um, but I also want to tell you guys that I bought a from Emacs. I bought a Tiny Hawk two freestyle um, and that will be here on Friday but I won't probably not do a video until next week on it um, so I'm gonna share the screen so this is um, Nacho's Ramball mount for his original Osmo and as you can see, he also has a 3D printed um, cover for the top that kind of holds the, the gimbal in place. That's cool. Um, about a year ago, I 3D printed so many things for the original Osmo. Um, like, it was crazy. I, I'm still finding Osmo accessories that I printed. <laughs> um, this was my favorite. This was one where... Um, the Osmo Pocket just sits in it, like it sits down in it, you can still use the buttons, and then I hot glued an actual nut in it. Um, one of the things with 3D printing that I've struggled with is making, um, making tripod type mounts. So anything that uses a quarter 20 um, has a tendency to, since you're printing plastic, like the plastic threads don't last very long, especially if you're putting any kind of pressure on it. Um, 
definitely don't use it with a selfie stick where you're like moving it around like that. Um, tripod and in, in sitting in place might be okay for a little while, but the 3D designs that I really like to look at are the ones that have, um, you know, metal, um, metal inserts. Um, So Nacho Prints, um, PLA for now, which I think this is PLA. Um, and then he says, but it's 100% infill. So if you don't know what that means, um, infill is like, even though this is a solid object, this bottom part um, to save on filament, um, you like... The edge is solid and the bottom is solid, but in the middle it's like a honeycomb shape, at least for my printer and my slicer. Um, it's a honeycomb shape and then there's a bunch of holes and it's kind of like columns, like a bunch of straws that kind of give it rigidity but don't, uh, but also make it light. 100% infill will just fill that entire thing with plastic, so it'll be a really solid build. Um, I, I do all of my GoPro mounts. Um, had one of those too. Um, I print all of my GoPro mounts with 100% infill, um, and that just makes sure that they're they're as solid as they can be. <laughs> so I will holler at you if I decide to plunge back in. Um, the my goal is so I bought two drones recently. I bought. Um, a Walkeria Furious 320, which is an old, like, it came out the same time the Typhoon H's did, um, but it is a drone that will go 80 miles an hour, or 75 miles an hour. Um, definitely not something I want to learn on, but it, it is very interesting to me. And it weighs like 20 pounds or something. It's like a big, solid piece of metal. Uh, it's not light drone at all, but... Um, what I like about that drone is that the, the rotors pivot. Um, that just intrigues me. But I wanted to get something that I could learn on. Um, and I watched a lot of videos and there are several YouTubers that um, that say that the Tiny Hawks are the, are the easiest ones to learn on. Um, I downloaded a Tiny Hawk for my liftoff uh, simulator and it was I was actually flying really, really well with it. Um, so, another thing it does, it has stabilization mode and horizon, horizon hold on it. So, I can learn, before I go completely acro, I can learn how to fly a little bit. So, that's the plan. So, Danielle does not like GoPro. It's a brand that does not fit her needs. Uh, if you buy U.S. products, I expect some service and not a company that sets for profit and their workers on the street. Okay. No politics, please. Um, so, Nacho ordered metal inserts today. I've seen several different types of metal inserts. Um, here's an example on on this camera. This is the what is this? I thought it said it on it. I don't even know what the name of this camera is, but it's a little zoom camcorder. Video is horrible on it. Audio is amazing on it. So I want to use this as just kind of a an audio recorder. But um, it's got like this type of insert uh, on my Jeep it was kind of called a nut cert I believe but um, it has like ridges around the edges um, so you basically make a hole that's a little bit smaller than it and then you tap 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 it into place um, something else um, I've seen people do is they will um, either hot glue them in place or they will actually heat the nut cert up and then when they press it into place all the plastic will kind of melt around it and then hold 
it'll dry. Um, so there's that. Steven Drone asks if I've done any flying lately. Um, the last flight I did, um, I did do a video last week where um, I was just testing out the FPV mode on the DJI Mavic Air 2. Um, but I didn't do, it wasn't a video that I spent a lot of time on. So I think I'm going to spend a little time on the intro and the outro and kind of talk about it. Um, so I'll be putting that out lately. Um, I've really just been kind of playing with my toys. Um, I've been playing in VR, um, and, uh, I've been trying to just sell a bunch of stuff. I realized that I've run out of money from my YouTube channel. Um, so now I'm selling all the stuff that's just gathering dust. Um, and I think 2021 is going to be a reset of my channel. Um, I used to be under the, um, I used to want to be a collector so I could, you know, my S360, every time I do an S360 video, I can show you guys six cameras that I have reviewed on this channel from Insta360. Um, but, you know, I have... I have gear 360 video cameras that I have ne that I never use anymore. I just need to sell those and get rid of them. I think they're good gear, but I don't ever use them, so it's kind of pointless to have them. Um, and I want to focus more on tutorials and and uh, um, you know flight videos. But I feel like where I really shine is teaching people how to do things, as opposed to showing you guys the latest product because um, you know companies don't send me products I have to buy them myself and it's not a very good business plan <laughs> when you spend more money than you make okay so that's where I'm at um, I am almost to 6,000 subscribers so I don't know if a fresh start um, in 2021 is going to be a good thing or a bad thing, but I feel like no matter what I do, I'm still kind of getting, um, getting subscribers. Um, so I'm going to not sell out or start doing fake things, but I'm, um, going to start looking at the analytics of my channel to see what people are actually watching. Cause I, I put out that, that live stream of the Insta360 um, 1X2, um, I put that out, and then like 700 people watched that my live stream. Not while I was live, but other you know other times. Within like a day, it got a whole bunch of views. So I was like, well, that was a good video to do. And then you know the next day, it kind of doesn't even matter anymore because the whole world knows what it is. <laughs> You know, so it's like now there's a whole bunch of people watching a video that is old. So just trying to figure out that strategy, figure out what works for the channel. Um, so <laughs> that's coffee I made four hours ago. So yeah so do you guys have any more questions about the um, DJI Pocket 2 or are you guys just waiting for the amazing review that I'm going to give it <laughs> um, I think what I'm going to do more is um, is kind of compare it to other cameras um, find out what the real use for the camera is I will say the um, was frustrated when I purchased it that the creator kit wasn't ready yet. So, might end up buying the creator kit and then selling this guy to someone else. But, not sure yet. So, um, I think I want to All right, so I think we're going to do it this way. 
It's going to be Inception. Um, so this is kind of what the app looks like. It's the same app as the original, so there, not much has changed. Um, you know, we've got the sliders over here on the left. Um, this is what a pano does. I don't know if you guys know. I've seen what a pano does. That didn't work. Man, this is hard. Not sure why it's not doing that. Whoa, 180 degrees. That was not 100. Oh, I guess it is 180 degrees. So there's the pano. <laughs> Did a pretty good job. Um, yeah, what questions do you have? Nacho says you will stick to the old one. I pretty much use it for one thing, motion time lapse. Dad Random used the Pocket 1 as a vlogging camera to good effect. The Pocket 2 field of view is supposed to be better for that a bit wider. The, um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn that app off. Uh, the, the field of view is a little bit wider. Um, in the creator kit, there's actually a wide lens that you can add to it, which makes it even wider than that. Um, and I think that's the sweet, pot, sweet spot for vlogging. Um, if, you, if you guys watched the, the video when I was going to get it, the original pocket didn't even focus on me during the entire drive. And that was the, that was my biggest hang-up from the original DJ Osmo Pocket. Was the fact that it had facial recognition. Um, and so we're gonna spin it around to me. Oh, that was weird. Oh, pass me. Okay. So it's on me right now. Let's see if it recognized me. So it didn't recognize me, so I'm going to try to... It might be because I have it in pano mode. This is not working out. <laughs> All right, so we've got it in pano mode. So put it back in the video. So I'm going to get back a little bit. Oh, I know what's wrong. So in 4K, 60 frames per second, it does not track people. Okay. So now it's got my face. And it's tracking me everywhere I go. I wish y'all could see this. Actually, I'll just do this. So you can see that it's tracking me. It's moving around and finding me and if it can do that why the heck would I be out of focus 
if it's fo it was following me in the car, but it wasn't focusing on me. It was focusing on the cars behind me. So I think that's kind of weird. Um, but but yeah. So on the channel, we're gonna be talking about the DJI Pocket Two in coming up videos. We're also gonna be doing some FPV in. Um, I don't want to stick to a strict schedule. Um, but yeah, just when I put out new videos, watch them, like them, and subscribe to them. <laughs> um, so that's why I was thinking to pick one up. My current vlogging setup is about six pounds. <laughs> I will say it's a great little camera um, to have on you. Um, there are so many times where things happen. Um, and I pull my phone out to capture it because I don't have another camera on me. Um, the DJI Osmo Pocket is something that you can keep in your bag, keep in your glove box, in your car, um, you know, something like that. And when you need a camera, you can, um, you know, pull it out and use it. Um, getting out a huge rig um, sometimes isn't feasible. Um, and I would say that the camera that you, the camera you're going to use is the one that's on you. Um, that's why I love these little 360 cameras. I love this little pocket camera. I love GoPros because, um, you know, I I wear vests um, or jackets with pockets in them, and you can fit those things in pockets, and all of a sudden you can just pull it out and get a really cool video. Um, so, all right, thanks, brother. Um, thanks for hanging out. I need to get you on the show again. Um, I had a great time talking with you on the show, but aloha, be safe. Um, catch you on the next video, man. Um, but yeah, um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call it quits a little early tonight too. Um, there is a you know an election going on here in America, and I kind of want to just watch all the people lie for a couple hours and then figure out who won we might not even know who won um, since the virus happened we're all there are a lot of people that mailed votes in so um, we'll see what happens um, so um, but yeah we can go through the website again really quick if you guys want to or we can call it a night it's your call I feel like I want to go through the website for the next maybe 10 minutes and then we will call it a night. Um, but this thing is out out in the wild. Um, there's a link in the description below if you want to get one for yourself. Um, if you buy it from my link, it'll really help the channel. And um, yeah, if you want Sean Eyed Studios merchandise, um, it's there. Or if you want a drone, um, you know, a drone shirt, or I might make one about gimbals. Might be kind of fun. Um, but Brent's making fun of me. The DJI Non Osmo Pocket Two. <laughs> Maybe I should start calling it that. The Non Osmo. Um. Yeah, let's go through the website real quick. This will go. We'll just go quick. Um, the this is the DJI Osmo Pocket Two. This is a really close up version of what you guys are seeing. Um, like I said, the ring is different. This camera is different, but the rest of the body is pretty much the same. Um, they might have manufactured it a little differently. Like the there's a power button on the right, which is new. Um, but I love the joystick. I don't know why there wasn't a joystick on the first one. Um, but, yeah. Uh, that's what it looks like. Um, the other uh, big change was this bottom comes off. Um, and you can swap out to the tripod adapter that's, a, a, that's attached. Or that, that's included. Or the do-it-all handle. Um, you got its pocket size, three axis gimbal, um, ActiveTrack 3.0. So we're going to test out 
the different active tracks to see which one does a better um, track on me. Um, and once I get my new phone, I'll have two phones, so I'll be able to do that test. And it looks like this is about to turn off. There it is. Um, it's got an AI editor, which is all software. So the AI ed editor will work with both. Excellent image quality, DJI Matrix Stereo uh, for audio recording. It's pocket size, small camera, big moments. Um, what's awesome about it is it'll fit anywhere. It'll fit in your pants pocket. Um, it'll fit in your jacket pocket, uh, your purse, you know, whatever you have. Um, especially if you have a camera bag. It's like I have a little, little bag that has all of my little action cameras on it. And it's nice to just sit them in different spots and do a multi-cam shot. Um, and then the tracking capabilities is great whenever I'm out flying a drone and I don't, you know, I can't point the camera. I, I can walk around and have the camera follow me around. Um, quick capture. Um, high definition panoramas, which is cool. Active Track 3.0. Um, here's a little clip of the 3.0. Or this cheesy guy walking. Um, you just double tap on something and it'll find them and start tracking them. Story mode is just kind of a um, interesting uh, way of editing quick little clips. Sorry for burping. Um, time lapse. This is what Nacho said he likes to use it for. Um, motion time lapses. This little ro robotic head is just awesome for that. AI editor, again, a way to edit things. Uh, motorized stabilization, Hollywood quality smoothness. Um, gimbal stabilization is awesome. It really is. Um, sometimes the gimbal for your phone or the gimbal with your camera can, can, can um, mess up communication because you're your camera's trying to stabilize, and then the gimbal's trying to stabilize. And sometimes they don't stabilize in sync. Same way with your phone. Uh, with this, you have a camera on, and th this is what I really think things should go. Um, they need to get this completely right, um, and everybody would use it. But, um, you know, when the camera is stabilized by the gimbal, you don't have to worry about it competing with stabilization in your cameras so that's pretty cool um, image quality here's a great picture of the lens um, the lens is a lot bigger now um, it's got a better sensor um, to pick up more um, high definition um, images and videos um, and what that means is you've got a bigger sensor that grabs more information so you can have more highlights and more um, shadows in your image to make it look more realistic than it did. Um, 2.0 hybrid um, autofocus. So hopefully this autofocus will be better. Uh, that's another test that I'm definitely going to do with the, with the two pockets. Um, 4K 60 frames per second, but I'll probably just use 30 frames per second because the tracking doesn't function in 60 frames per second. Hopefully they'll update that. It's got HDR video, um, so you can see the difference. All these shadows are blown out with it off. Um, but look right here. You can actually see the detail on those rocks with the HDR video. Um, a lot of the HDR video that I've edited in the past has been really kind of greenish and clay-like. So this video looks pretty awesome. So hopefully all that will work out. It's got an eight time zoom. So how the zoom works is you have an eight time zoom, I think in 1080. And then in 2.8K, 2.7K or whatever the middle ground is, you get the four time zoom. And then in 4K, you actually get a two time zoom. Uh, but the zoom is actually pretty awesome. Um, the it's got immersive audio and I don't want to play this clip because it'll give me like a copyright strike but 
um, you should go back and listen to this. It's really, really incredible. So um, I'm going to <clears throat> do an audio test in kind of a crowded park or at the strip mall where cars are driving by and stuff like that. Um, I've got a cool place by the interstate that has a lot of noise, and we're going to see if you can still hear me talk. Um, but yeah, as you can see, since it's got microphones all the way around, wherever the lens is pointing, that's where it's going to pull the audio from. So it's like a shotgun mic that's pointing in the same direction that the, um, the lens is. It's got audio zoom, so if you zoom in, um, then whatever you're looking at will get louder. So in the 3D space, the audio will actually get louder. Um, and you can change the audio to front and back or all. So you've got your um, your different patterns of audio. Here's the accessories. So we'll talk through these accessories really quick. Um, this is the wide angle adapter that I was talking about, um, which is, what's very cool is they put a spot in there for the wide wide angle adapter so um, they've got a, a quarter 20 here and that's what you attach this little tripod base to um, so they've, they've really thought through this little um, I, t I always took mine out and put it in a case because I had all these accessories to go with it but the the case that comes with it can actually accommodate a lot of the accessories and make it pocketable and maybe that's one of the down um, the downsides of the original was everybody bought cases to put all their accessories in so it wasn't really a pocketable camera anymore whereas these accessories are very pocketable except for the um, the audio adapter so this is the do-it-all handle this is the handle that will snap into this base and add um, it adds a quarter 20 but it also adds um, functionality to talk to uh, the the top um, audio part now I don't know if this audio adapt or if this wireless microphone will work with the base that we have right here that'd be an interesting test but so there's that and then I really like this case right here um, so you can purchase the microphone by itself. Um, when they're in their marketing, they've definitely um, marketed these two products together, the do-it-all handle and the wireless mic with windscreen. But I wonder if that will work with anything Bluetooth. Um, there's the charging case. Um, this is probably what I'm going to get next. This is extension rod um, and D filters. So that's it. 349. Link in the description. Um, please purchase it from my channel, and um, I will be able to get more DJI Chinese products to <laughs> to uh, to review on this channel. But yeah, hope you guys like this live stream. Hope you guys had a wonderful night and will continue to have a good night. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for more products that I review that make your life a little easier. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what I was, where I was going with that. But hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell for notifications of when I put out more videos about DJI cameras action cameras, regular cameras, drones, live streaming, all the good stuff. Um, if I don't see you on the next video, I'll see you next week. Peace out, y'all.